Hey guys, James with Torches and Tactical, and today we're going over Next Torch's latest EDC offering, the E52C. Now, I did do the E51C, uh, quite a bit smaller than this, not as much power. This one does 3,000 lumens, and it's going to give you that huge EDC feel um, without skimping on a lot of the tactical features that you expect from something from Next Torch. So let's get right into the specifications and we'll go ahead and dive into the box too. So like I said, this is the E52C and Nextorch is known for their tactical lights. Now one fortunate thing about this is if in a pinch you need to use it as a tactical light, you can still do so. Uh, this does have a forward clicky switch, but it's going to give you your high, medium, and low mode. Now the high is 3000 lumens, will run for two and a half hours. And you have your medium mode is 550 lumens, will run for four hours and 15 minutes. And you have that low mode, that's 30 minutes and will run for 65 hours. That's right, over two and a half days. That's two and a half days of runtime on low 30 lumens. And you also do have a double tap to hidden strobe. And that's gonna be all that 3000 lumens as well. So its max beam distance is 210 meters at high, and that's an intensity rating of 11,025 candela. This is impact resistant to two meters and IPX rated to two meters as well. As far as the dimensions and weight, this is 153 millimeters in length by 30 millimeters on the head and 27 millimeters on the body. Now, without the battery, this does come in at 130 grams and it gets all those 3000 lumens from an XHP50B LED with a nice glass lens and an orange peel reflector to help soften up that beam. This is made of a 6061 aluminum alloy and powered by a 21700 cell battery. So moving this aside here for a second. Now the box does clearly show you that this comes with the E52C, 3000 lumens. It does have USB type C recharging. And if you look on the back, it'll show you how to access that. It does also have that four stage battery capacity indicator. And if you need quick access to all those specifications, it does list them here at the bottom. So inside the package, you do have the plastic insert that houses your flashlight upon shipping, as well as a little bag that's going to give you your user manual. This will give you all those specifications and how to use each of the modes in a few different languages. Then you also have your Nextorch branded lanyard. And this does run pretty generic, but it holds up just fine. Then you have a couple of, you have a couple of O-rings, if I can pick them up. You have a couple O-rings in case you ever need to replace or service your flashlight. And you have a Nextorch branded USB-A to USB-C cable. Now this does have a little a few green accents and that is a next torch signature color so that's always a nice touch so getting this out of the way we can put more focus on that flashlight now yes don't get this confused with well i mean honestly pretty much every other next torch flashlight that i have reviewed um, and it has been a while so maybe you haven't seen one of these but they do have a, a few steps inside that machining on the head and that's going to serve as an anti-roll feature they do have very, very nice and uniform knurling. Uh, this is a, a squared knurling, and I'll come in here so you can see all that. But they do have a very, very nice squared knurling, so you get a good grip. And it it's not the deepest, so it does still give you a relatively good feel as well. That knurling makes its way onto the tail cap as well. And on the tail cap, you also have a few saddles and each side does have an opening that's going to allow you to hook up to that lanyard. You do also have a single way pocket clip and this does, it gives you quite a bit of spring resistance. So when you get this mounted in, or I guess mounted isn't the right word, but when you have it sitting in your pocket, um, it will keep the tail cap of this out so you can get access to it very, very easily. Now I did tell you this did have type C onboard charging and it's true, it does. I'm not lying to you guys, um, but the E52 series, or the E series rather, they do like to hide that USB-C charging underneath this head. So if you undo the head and bezel, you do have access to USB-C right here. Now let me grab a quick cable real fast. And you can see that if we plug this in, 
you do get a small battery indicator right here. Now it's red right now, but we'll switch over to blue when it's done charging. And this also lets you know when you turn the light on, the current state of the battery. So right now it's blue flashing. And there is also a blue, a red, and a red flashing. So red flashing indicates that it's at its lowest and you'll need to get to either another battery or a charger very, very soon. As far as the user interface goes on this, you do only have that rear tail cap, and that's gonna give you your forward clicky switch. And that forward clicky gives you a huge advantage of having a momentary without having to turn the flashlight on. So if you do a half press, it will go to your high, then your medium, then your low. And whenever you get to a setting you want, here, let's go to medium. You can just go ahead and click it and it will lock that setting in place. If you do ever need to access the tactical strobe, you can do a quick double press. And there you go, you have your tactical strobe. You can shut that off again with just disengaging that rear switch. And that's all there is to it. You have your high, your medium, and your low. And you have that tactical strobe in case you ever need it. Very straightforward user interface, which Nextorch has always done very well on. Now, if we do get into the battery, they've always done pretty well on this front as well. And one thing that I do appreciate about this over the TA30C Max, now the TA30C Max did have a 21700 cell with on-cell charging, so you physically had to take this out of the flashlight in order to get it charged up. So. I mean, same concept as before, except instead of plugging into the flashlight, you'll go ahead and throw it into the top of your battery where it has a USB-C port on it. Uh, that's not the case with this. You can leave your battery set up and ready to go in your flashlight at all times, and you just need to go ahead and unscrew the head and get access to the USB-C port. This does have a relatively quick charge and works quite well. Um, I've never had issues with next torch lights charging and the E52C is no exception. Now I do know that you guys want to see how this will compare with another flashlight. So I went ahead and got my Convoy S21B and this does also come with an XHP50 emitter inside and a shallow orange peel reflector. So I figured that we'd be able to look at the finishes, how they compare with one another. Now the E52C is quite a bit larger than the Convoy, but I mean, it doesn't feel inherently large. Uh, it does give you enough real estate to where even if you have a larger hand like myself, your palm is still going to be on the actual flashlight as opposed to falling off in, and potentially going in front of that beam. So what I would like to do is I'd like to get outside and compare the E52C with the S21B, so you can see how the 3000 lumens of the XHP50B compares to the XHP50 offering of the Convoy S21B. So let's get outside and do this. All right, ladies and gentlemen, we're outside with the Nextorch E52C, and I'm gonna go ahead and press the uh, momentary switch down, and it will start in high, then go to medium, and then to low. So here we have high, and this is all 3,000 lumens from the Nextorch E52C. And then if I release and press again, this is medium. And this is low. Now I know this is not going to show up incredibly well on camera, but in person uh, you still get quite a bit of light. So I'll go to high again. And if I release and press very fast, this is strobe. Now from a distance, it probably doesn't look like it's strobing too much. But if we come in close and you can see it on the ground, you can more visibly tell that it is strobing. So the frequency on this may be a little fast to be much more of an effective strobe. But again, it is an EDC more so than a tactical light. And let's compare it to the Convoy S21B. So this is much warmer, obviously, right out of the gate. This is the low mode, medium, high, 
and turbo. This is uh, this would equate to turbo for the S21B. Now again, this is an XHP70 versus the XHP50 in the Nextorch E52C. We will run through those one more time. On the Nextorch E52C, here is high, medium, and low. And again, while it's off, we can do that quick double tap. And you do have your tactical strobe. All right, now that we saw how the E52 performs against the Convoy S21B, let's get inside. All right, guys, we went outside and saw the Nextorch E52C. We saw the beam pattern, the temperature, and we compared that to the Convoy S21B. Now, I can tell you right off, the beams, to me, at least, look pretty similar. Now, you, you will see that, that the next torch has a, a slightly longer reflector, and I noticed that in the hot spot, but the S21B gave a little bit warmer tint, and it gave you more of a flood. So, it really does come down to, at least between these two, it comes down to the temperature, whether you like it to be a little bit cooler or more neutral, or the beam pattern, if you want to see that hot spot, or if you want to see more of a flood. So, I mean, there are pros and cons to both options, and that's a call you're going to have to make for yourself. But what I can tell you is that the look and feel of every next torch light that I've ever come across, literally ever, and I've even bought some really old ones just so I can see if they started terrible and got better over the years. Spoiler alert, they've always been really, really good. But I have loved the feel and look and the user interface. The user interface has always been sublime. Now, granted, this does seem like it kind of skirts the line on whether or not it doesn't know if it wants to be a tactical light or an EDC light. And I mean, as an EDC, it's rather large. And as a tactical light, it does have a little bit of convolution in that user interface between switching through the high, me medium, and low modes. But if the E52 is something that seems like it might strike your fancy, go ahead and look in the description down below. I did go ahead and put a link, and yes, it is an affiliate link, uh, so I will make a small commission, but that's 100% of that is going to go into buying more flashlights so I can keep doing these reviews for you guys. In addition to that, there is a coupon code that will save you a little bit of money if you decide to pull the trigger on an E52C or any of the other Nextorch offerings. So make sure you click on that link in the description, and I'll also include a pinned comment down below too, so you can click on that one. And finally guys, if you like this content, if you like any of the other videos I've done, or if you wanna see something else, go ahead and like this video, share it with your friends, and subscribe to the channel. And if you do subscribe, click on the bell notification, that's gonna notify you guys when we do a new video so you can see it first. Now we're gonna be doing giveaways quite frequently, and we wanna get you guys as early access to those giveaways as possible. And the only way you can do that is if you are subscribed to the channel. So thank you guys so much. Make sure to click on the links down below and hopefully one of the giveaways we have coming up, you will win. So thank you so much and we'll see you in the next one.